All right, here's a really quick look at the new interface module that just went into this book. Uh, so you can see I have this interface up here that has these first harmonic, second harmonic, third harmonic, and then waveforms. If I turn up first harmonic, you can see that. Second harmonic. So what's going on here? If I turn on this show cables thing here, you can see that there are cables coming off of these controls going into this prefab. And if I expand the prefab, you can see that first harmonic here is controlling the volume of um, this first signal generator and second signal generator and third signal generator. And then these are controlling the uh, the waveform types. Uh, and then if I wanted to add more, for example, say I wanted to add a control for the shuffle on the uh, first single generator here, just drag a cable. There you go. And now I've got this remote control over it. And then say I wanted to, let's see, I guess we can hear it. Cool. Let's say I didn't want the name shuffle there. Say I wanted to call it something else. Uh, if I shift and then enter while hovered over it, then I can edit it and the range. So let's call it grit. And let's make the range so you can only get half gritty. So 0 to 0 0.5. And let's move it so it's uh, maybe up over near the other one. So Y3 and x200 is that far enough oh that's still colliding a bit okay let's go to 40. cool all right and then click away from this and it goes down uh let's hide those cables again and minimize prefab and there you go we've got this custom interface here so just a really quick look here, but it lets you do a lot of stuff and create sort of a custom interface where you don't have to find all of the individual controls that you want. And you can instead name them things and give them custom ranges and create your own custom interface for it. So there's a lot of potential here. Uh, so uh, enjoy, have fun.